Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnanti and today we will be discussing about the basic external features of the scapula and the side determination of scapula. So as you all know, the scapula is a bone among the upper limb and you can see clearly here it's a triangular flat bone which is composed of three angles and three borders. So the three angles, let's see the three angles first. So we have the superior angle, we have the inferior angle and we have the lateral angle here. So these are the three angles. Um, these three angles are joined together by three borders. The superior angle and the inferior angle are connected by the medial border. Then the lateral angle and the inferior angle is connected by the lateral border which is the thickest of them all. You can see how thick it is. But when it comes to the medial border you can see it's very thin. Okay. Then we have the superior border which connects between the superior angle and the lateral angle. So this is the superior border that is also very thin. Then we have to see the surfaces. The scapula has got two surfaces. The coastal surface which is the concave surface which will be facing towards the rib cage, And we have the dorsal surface which is separated by a shelf like projection. You can see there is a shelf like projection that is separating the dorsal aspect into two parts. There is supraspinous fossa and infraspinous fossa. And we have got three processes for the scapula. That is the coracoid process. This is the coracoid process you can see here. Then we have the acromion process. And we have the shelf-like projection which you can see here. Which is projecting backwards from the dorsal aspect of scapula. And that is called as the spinous process of scapula. So these are the basic features you should know before determining the side of the scapula. So let's see how the side is determined. The side determination of the scapula is composed of three points which you can remember. First you have to identify the lateral angle which is the thickest one. So if you trace the lateral border which I have told you already it's a thickest border which extends from the inferior angle to the lateral angle. So you have to identify the lateral angle which is having all these processes here that is the acromion process, the coracoid process and you can see a rounded area that is nothing but the glenoid cavity where the head of the humerus is attached or articulated. So this is the glenoid cavity. So the glenoid cavity should be facing laterally away from the body. Then we have to look for the spinous process. As I have told you, you can see there is a shelf like projection projecting from the dorsal aspect of scapula that spinous process should be facing backwards. So that is the second thing that you have to remember. Then we have the coastal surface which is concave that should be facing anteriorly and the scapula will be placed posterior laterally on the pulp. So from this you can identify this bone which I am holding here is the left side scapula.